Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a really fabulous Sunday, uh, whatever you are getting up to. Uh, Sunday afternoon, I hope there's lots of roast potatoes and Yorkshire pudding if you're in the UK. Uh, or I hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning if you are across the pond. Uh, this, of course, is Craft Along, where we all get the opportunity to craft along together in real time and make something fabulous with one of our recent launches. And this week, it's all about the Christmas 3D and pumpkin dye collection. That is what we are going to be uh, having a little look at. Uh, I'll give you all the details. If you haven't yet got it, don't worry. You can get your hands on it and watch this back whenever you like. But I'm not on my own. Clutching a rather fabulous looking ornament is the lovely Michelle McCarthy. How are you, Michelle? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Good. Good to be back with you for another Craft Along. No Craft Along to you and then two in two days. I know. Yeah. I know. I enjoyed the one yesterday so much, though, I thought I'd come back again today. Amazing. Okay, well, it's gl great to have you uh, back with us in the studio. What are we going to be making then, Michelle? It looks rather fabulous. So these are uh, pumpkin, uh, our, dim our dimensional um, pumpkin dye with the um, fabulous glitter card and the texture card. And then if we have enough time, we're going to do the little star as well. Some fabulous uh, silver glitter card there. Amazing. Uh, if we don't have, it's not too late to join in, is it, Michelle, as well? So uh, what do we need now. if we fancy uh, joining you on this craft along? Okay, so, um, so you'll need um, your Dimensionals Festive Pumpkin Die, um, the Elegant Star Dimensionals Die, and then your Texture Card Stock, so some orange and green um, glitter card stock in gold and silver, and then your Night Before Christmas Festive embellishments, um, some ribbon, a battery operated tea light candle, um, entirely up to you though on that one, and a bone folder. Awesome. And then, so you told you will need um, a, a Gemini or your Gemini Mini, uh, tape pens, 3D glue gel, um, some red liner, double sided tape, um, your guillotine and a scar tool and some low tack tape. Amazing. Well, uh, you've definitely got time to gather all of those bits and bobs together. Uh, we'll be starting in a few minutes. Now, if you don't already own this collection, you're thinking, gosh, well, that looks amazing. I'd love to be able to create that. It is definitely not too late. I'm going to take you through what you're getting in this particular collection. So you're getting the four different die sets within here. This first one that you're going to get is the Grande Bauble, as you can see just here. And that is what that is able to create there for you. That is your Grande Bauble. Uh, the next one in here is this one, which is your Winter Opulence. And that is going to create these for you. You're gonna be able to fill these with all manner of things, make beautiful uh, hanging ornaments with them as well. The next one, if you're going for this one individually, you will have to be very, very quick for it. I'll give you the details of them in a moment. This is your Elegant Star. And that is what that makes. I mean, it is really, really gorgeous. The intricate details that you've got die cut into there uh, really are quite fantastic. So do grab that one. Uh, and then the other one we have uh, is this one here. It's the festive pumpkin. You guys have absolutely uh, loved this. And this is the kind of thing that this is going to be able to make for you. I think it is ingenious. Uh, the way that this goes together. Also, within that particular collection, uh, you will also get the uh, cardstock within there as well. So you can see you've got that beautiful uh, Christmas green cardstock within there too. So if you want to grab those now, absolutely you can. Uh, so do grab hold of those. Let's see who's with us then in the comments today. Suzette is here. I can see Sarah's Creations. Uh, Thea's back from the Netherlands. Hello, Thea. Uh, Patricia is in Michigan. Fran uh, is uh, in from Mar Maryland. Uh, we've got Rhonda, uh, Ben, Sue, Deborah, absolutely uh, loads of you. Now, the way the Craft Along works, of course, is that if you've got any questions at all as we go through, you can get those into me directly by going over to uh, Crafters TV on Facebook and dropping into the comment section there or leaving them in the comments over on YouTube, uh, which is Crafters Companion if you are over on YouTube. Uh, so do uh, pop them into the comments there as well. What I would say is Michelle will take regular breaks. So I'll give you an opportunity to catch up uh, and uh, Michelle will recap the steps as well as we go through. So you can have a lovely time, do some crafting all together. But I mean, if you're ready, uh, Michelle, I think it seems everyone in the comments is as well. Yep, absolutely ready. So let's go. So first thing we need to do, get our die and then pick a, a sheet of your textured. I've picked that lovely orange and then whatever colour glitter card you want for the inside of your pumpkin. So we'll just get our dies out. 
and you will find that you've got the three um, outside pieces and you have the three inside pieces. We don't need this bit yet, so we'll put that to one side. Um, so we'll cut this down because that's not going to go on my plate. So we're going to be cutting um, so 12 of these out in the glitter card stock. So we'll do, the, we'll do the glitter first, one step at a time, Michelle. So I'm just going to cut that in half. I think this one I've picked is more of a, a bronzy gold rather than the gold gold from before. So. Never had too much glitter in your life, Michelle. You can absolutely not. Definitely not. Because I'm going to be cutting glitter card, I'm going to use my um, metal shim as well. So, we'll put these three on first. I'm going to just use a little bit of low tack tape just to make sure it won't necessarily stick to the glitter uh, glitter card. But what I will do is, if I stick my three dies like that, at least I know that they're not going to get um, overlap each other in the machine and damage each other. So let's just bob that through there. But yet, yeah, you can do these one at a time. Um, they will all go through your mini and your midi, your Gemini Junior, and then this, this big one that I'm using. <coughs> so, so oh, all stuck to each other. So that's my first three. And then, I'll take those out, put them to one side. So how many pounds do we need in total, sorry? So we need 12. 12, we need cool. 12 glitter panels. And then we need 12 um, textured cardstock panels. So I run that through again. So this bit just tends to be a lot of running through our machines. I mean, not us literally running through them, obviously. No, that, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. That would not be good. Yes, we would not recommend that. No, do not put yourself in the Gemini. <laughs> there's no way you'd fit me in that slot anyway. No way. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, there's loads of other stuff in the show for you today as well. I'd absolutely urge you to go and have a look at all the sort of glitter cards and absolutely everything. There's loads of individual bits in this show. So you can see all of that by going to the homepage of the website, uh, crosscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Uh, hit that shop the show button. Everything is listed there for you. Yeah, I think the most difficult thing about this is picking which glitter card stock you want to use because they're so lovely. And the glitter's encased as well, so you don't get glitter everywhere. Which is not a bad thing. Well, I think. no, that doesn't bother me at all. It does bother my husband when <laughs> my husband shaves his head to his bald. So when he sort of comes into the kitchen to have a bit of a chat with me and then um, walks back out and he's all <laughs> got mm. glitter all over his uh, he walks out and he's like it's like a glitter ball <laughs> with lots of different glitter and, and the occasional fabulous. gem may or may not get stuck to him somewhere and i may or may not tell him that <laughs> <laughs> he's got a glitter and gem stuck to him obviously i let him know before he goes shopping but to see him sparkling around the house it's just fabulous <laughs> Sounds it, really, really does. <laughs> uh, lots of you, a good. Uh, oh, Thea's back on the uh, back on the Dutch. She says, "Good, good, my dog." No, it always sounds Swedish. It always sounds Swedish when I do it. <laughs> good, good, my dog. I'm not sure how was that, Thea. Let me know how the pronunciation was there. Uh, Thea's testing us on a Sunday. Testing us on a Sunday. <laughs> on what is my fake Friday as well? It wasn't too bad, that. Oh. I know, we, I like that we say that, but we don't speak Dutch. We think it yeah, sounds all right. I think we were saying that the other day. We think it sounds fine. They've probably not got a clue what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could tell me to say anything at home and I would say it, but, you know, that, that it would be your <laughs> fault and not mine. Just putting that out there. So the, our last three for the glitter. I'm going to run through. And if you are using your mini or your midi, and obviously doing these one at a time, and you need me to slow down so you can catch up, just let Joe know. 
I imagine you could whiz these through the, quite, through the mini quite quickly. Yeah, though. I would imagine, yeah. In the time mm. it's taken me, you could probably do it, you know, at the same time if you've got your, your card cut down. So, I'll just put those to the side for a minute. And then, so now we should have 12 of our glitter panels. And what we will do before we move on is we will score all these where they need to be. So at each end, you will see um, the score lines and they just fold beautifully. So we're just going to give all those a nice fold. You can use your score tool, uh, scoring tool, bone folder if you like, but they're in there really well, so they just fold easily. I do like this, I'm not sure what you would call this particular gold, but it is lovely. So I think the other one's quite like um Yeah, it's quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but like I say, we, we've got that many glitter cards. It's hard to decide. You sort of want to use them all. <laughs> Not that I'm indecisive in any way. So, and then our last one. And that's it. So what I'm also going to do is you can either do it with your bone folder or the edge of the table is just give them a, just give them a, a bone fold. A bone fold? <laughs> just give them a, a, yeah, with your bone fold. It just bit gives them a curl. A bit of a tease, yeah. It just means that when you're making the pumpkin itself it just helps to get that lovely curve effect that we want oh we've got welsh coming in now alison says prinhorn da joe uh, michelle there you go i don't know what it means i mean we really should we really should fact check these before we read them out shouldn't we <laughs> just in case yeah just in case <laughs> any other languages you want us to try get them into us crafts tv on facebook crafts companion on youtube we are here for your amusement I learnt French when I was at school. Right. And when it got to the exam, my GCSE exam, the only thing I knew how to say was, um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> and I got one point for it at the beginning of my exam, but as my oral exam went on and that's all I said through the exam, um, yeah, yeah. I, I pretty much failed. <laughs> uh, George also failed French GCSE, so... I'm not alone. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I struggle enough with my English. Mm. So <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so what I've done is I've brought my textured card stock in. It's a 12 by 12 sheet, so I've just cut it in half. And then we're going to go in with... So I'll just get my um, Gemini plate again. So we're going to go in with these again. Let me just take that piece of tape off the top. So it's entirely up to you how you do this. You can run these all through um, by themselves or you can run them through with that as well. But what I, I tend to do is I run them through with that but I make sure I put a bit of tape on so my outer die doesn't go over the inner die and, and damage it a little bit. But to be fair though, that has happened to me before and it's just, it's done an imprint of the die on top into the back of the die below, but it hasn't damaged it, so... Oh, okay. Um, not that I would recommend it either. <laughs> I could, should do a disclaimer before I speak, shouldn't I? <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, it we did bend it a little bit, but my die was still usable. But definitely the best way is to tape them so they don't overlap each other. I'm just going to put a bit more tape on the top of that one. And then I'll run them through. It's a normal plate combination. And again, obviously they all fit through. Or the midi. I played for the first time the other day with the midi. And I knew that the pressure would be the same um, as these, but to it just it went through like butter. It was such fun. <laughs> Which is what it should be. Absolutely. So, look, cuts out beautifully. 
So take those off and then we need to do this another three times. Awesome. So let's get rid of all them bits. Would you save plate. those bits? Um, I wouldn't. No? If there was You're very strict to yourself though. I know mm -hmm. lots of people out there that would. Yeah, I, the thing is, I, I, I make so much and I tend to save all my bits and then at the end of the week I've got such a huge box full of, um, of bits, I have to be a little bit ruthless. Right. But um, I, I, if I've got like spare card or pieces of card or lots of embellishments that I've cut out, I don't need that on there, um, I don't throw them away. I do give them to the local nursery for the little, for the little ones to have a good play with. Oh. Um, so, so, yeah, so the fact that I don't keep them, um, at least someone's getting some fun and some use out of them. So, let's run that through again. <coughs> yeah, all uh, the little ones love playing with um, a box of bits and, and bobs. Nice. They, they love it. Uh, Kaz says, Dion Joe, which apparently is well done. I knew what you're saying. I didn't even see the comment. There you go. Turns out I'm quite the linguist. Apparently so. Sorry? Who'd have, who'd have known? Who would have known it, eh? Um, they, are, they are literally the only comments that have come through because everyone is clearly absolutely engrossed in your craft law, oh, which is a great sign. Fabulous. Oh, so, that, so that one went a little bit wonky, so we'll have to put that one back through. But that's okay. So, and I'm flipping and rotating my plates for the change. <laughs> I do tend to forget to do that. So, just going to poke all my, my bits out. See, I enjoy this bit. I enjoy poking all the little bits out. It's incredibly cathartic. That is the word. I am using that correctly, right? Which one? Cathartic. Cathartic is exactly the right word, yeah. Fabulous. I just said it then and I thought, I hope that means what I think it means. And surprisingly, I passed my GCSEs of, of English. You would never know. I do have my own English language, though. <laughs> Uh, do you speak Michelle? I what, speak Michelle, yeah. What, uh, so you said it had gone a bit wonky there. What made it go wonky, Michelle? Um, I'd just not pressed um, my tape right. down onto the paper. So as I've picked it up and I've just lent my uh, plates a little bit, it just tipped, up, uh, tipped down. I slid down the piece of paper, that's all. So just need to make sure that I've stuck them down. Or don't tip my plates up when I lift them. So again, let's run that through. We're getting a nice lot of confetti here. Perfect. Uh, there's no, uh, any questions or comments that you've got, do keep getting them into me, but uh, at the moment, I think everyone seems to be following along just swimmingly. If you do have any questions, of course, Crafters uh, TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you're on YouTube. Okay, so stuck these ones down well enough so they, them ones didn't move. So we will need to run this through just one more time. I'll need to run it through two more times because I did miss one. And then I think we're done for that bit then. So let's just poke all these pieces out again. Our uh, dancing there. queen is back in the studio today, isn't she? She is uh, crafting with Sarah. She is. I haven't been singing the song at all of her that they performed to <laughs> last night. No, not even once. Not Joe. once. Not once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been driving everyone absolutely mad with it this morning. Yeah, just a little. I really, really have. You, uh, it's stuck in your head. You're going to make it stuck in everyone I think else's head. I think it already is. <laughs> I think we've got to that point. Yeah, you've taken us down with you, definitely. So, on there. So, what, how many have I got? What did we say? Two, four, six, eight. So, nine, so, yeah, so this will be your last time. I will need to bob it just one of them through one more time after this. 
Uh, Susan Griffith says, hello Michelle, Joe, uh, and the CC team from Misty Southeast UK. Um, I so enjoyed Michelle's craft on yesterday uh, and here again today. Uh, so yeah, great to have you back with us again, Susan. I lo hope lots of you are crafting along live with us because I'd love to see pictures of what you've made uh, when we get to the end of this. Ah. Uh. So, I need to run this through just one more time because not only did I miss one out the time before, but, um, I don't know if you can see that, they're still attached. Um, what I've done is my um, paper was just hanging over the edge of my plate right. a little bit, so it hasn't cut through. So, I have a couple more to do <laughs> and then... We're done. We're done with this part. I guess this is a bit you just need to get out of the way, isn't it? All the cutting. Yeah. And then yeah. we can get onto the get fun bit on. after that. That's it, yeah. And get onto the construction. So, stick those down. So, you should be done. You should have all your pieces. Um, if you don't get distracted easily, like I do. Hmm. <laughs> and then. Uh, St St uh, Stefan or Stephen? I'm not sure. Let's go Stefan or Stephen. Uh, saying uh, I'll craft along later with these items. The thing is, the thing is, is it's like horses course, isn't it? I know some of you love to watch it through first, then come back and craft along. Some of you love to go uh, straight off the bat and craft along with us uh, immediately. No right or wrong way, really, is there? No, there's absolutely not. And it, it, was, it was lovely yesterday seeing everyone's... Oh, there was um, a few people who posted their uh, craft mm. along. It was so nice to see to see people's uh, creations and your take on it. So for my, I was quite pleased. I had a huge smile on my face seeing everyone's makes yesterday. So I'm just going to get rid of all my bits if you want to do a... Yeah, absolutely. You want to take a quick pause there? Yeah. Um, Mary Lee says, hello, Michelle and Jo. I've been looking forward to this craft long since I ordered these dyes. Michelle is such a good teacher. It's a treat to watch her, isn't it? Indeed. Right, I'm going to share with you, whilst you get yourselves caught up, I'm going to share with you some other items uh, that we have on the show. I have got, oh, a plethora uh, of goodies available for you in the show. So we're going to start off with the uh, Happy Holidays paper pad. Uh, this is the 8x8 paper pad. 48 sheets here, uh, 160 GSM, which is fantastic. So you can see really lovely, uh, beautiful designs there which is fantastic really really awesome that one uh that there is uh eight by 160 gsm we've got the a5 acetate available for you on the show as well if you wanted to go for that it works really well it works really really well with the um with these dimensional dies that we've got for you 7.99 or 9.95 if you want to go for that then what we've got for you, the watercolour Christmas acetate. Now I showed this to you yesterday, you guys absolutely uh, loved it. So what you've got are two different designs. So you've got this one here, which is that snow flurry. Can you see? And that is, you're going to get it in the um, foiled and in the white. And then you also get this one here, which is the snow the snowflakes, and you're going to get that in the foiled silver and also the heat embossed white as well. So uh, do grab a hold of that. You've got uh, 12 sheets there in that one. Then we've got the Gnomes Acetate and Vellum. Now, this is just so cute. Uh, again, this is 8x8, uh, eight eight, this one. And you've got the Snow Flurry in the uh, white. You've also then got the snow Snowflake in the white on the uh, acetate. And then you've got the Snow Flurry. And you get that. You get both designs on each. So, again, you're going to have Vellum there with that on. And you'll also get the acetate with it on as well. Again, 12 sheets in that one for you. 8x8, uh, eight eight, that one just there. Then we have the watercolour Christmas vellums, which is these ones here. Let me get these out for you and show them. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, this one's great because what you get is you get the vellum. So you're going to get the snowflake. You get it in the foiled silver and you also get it uh, in the white. And then again, you're going to get the uh, snowflakes. You get that in the white 
and you also get that uh, in the foiled silver as well, which is fantastic. So uh, again, really beautiful. However you want to go for that, depends on what sort of size you want. Maybe you want to go for a mixed one or you want to go for uh, the individual ones. Uh, we've got Centura Pearl on the show for you. We've got the black available, which is this one uh, just here. Uh, and we also have the copper available as well. This would work beautifully, I think, uh, with the, your pumpkin as well. Then we move on to, we've got the luxury mixed card stocks. Now, uh, what you've got in here is you've got mirror, matte mirror, and also glitter card. Ten sheets of each in these particular ones. This one is the purple pack. Then you've also got the red pack there as well. Uh, so you can go for that. Uh, these, then we're going to move into these. I love these. These are the newest uh, pads, some of the newest pads we bought you. And what you've actually got in here is you've got pearlescent cardstock and then also glitter card stock as well so this is your glittering gold that you can see just here it kind of looks a little dark on the screen i mean it is really beautiful it is quite a deep shade of gold though having said that uh the next one we've got for you is the silver sparkling silver so you've got this it's almost a it is quite it's quite a, a deep silver it's almost like a gunmetal kind of silver and then you've got it in that real i mean that is just like disco balls isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous the glitter you've got 24 sheets you're getting 12 sheets of each in here and they're 250 gsm uh, then you've also got here the rose gold as well so you've got that pearlescent there and then you also uh, have the glitter there as well uh, you can grab those 19.99 or 22.95 uh, for each of those so make sure uh, you snap those up right i think michelle if, if you're good to go judging by the comments it seems everyone else is fab so i just had to quickly cut another one out um because um apparently i can't count either <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take all our little panels and we're just going to just with your fingers or the, the scarring tool, entirely up to you, we're just going to burnish those scar lines at the top and bottom of each panel. And I'm going to be a, a little bit, there. I'm going to put them all the right way up. Because if I got one the wrong way, with the pattern facing down, I would have to take it apart and do it again. <laughs> it have to be right. So just folding them all the scar lines are really well in there so just fold up easily just giving... and do you need to be careful with these or are they quite robust at this part point um just just be a little bit careful because you've got um some little little bits that aren't fully connected so you just don't want to catch them with your finger and so this panel is cut out is definitely more delicate than obviously the glitter one with no um without the centerpiece cut cut out so again just giving them all a good fold i mean quite i mean this one i mean the steps are quite simple but straightforward aren't they i guess you want to make batches of these would be quite simple yeah i think with these um it's just the cutting out that takes longer than anything else. Just cutting your 12 panels out. Um, but these are, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's not hard work just sitting there cutting panels after panels out. It's um, a nice, easy project. And I think most of our products make everything that we do um, nice and simple. Uh, love the copper for Halloween. Uh, they're talking about the luxury card, says Joan. Gail says, uh, good morning, I'm crocheting while watching. I haven't gotten these dies yet, but I'm looking forward to receiving them. Uh, uh, Mo says, I was watching on replay the other day, and there is another Mo who is new to crafting. Um, where, what are the chances of that? Uh, this Mo uh, is from Philadelphia, and we can't get enough of Crafters TV these days. So many Mo's in, uh, that are new to crafting. <laughs> So what I'm going to do with these ones, whereas with the, um, the not cut out panel, I used my bone folder for these. I still want to encourage that curve in my card, but I'm going to gently use my fingers and then just give them a bit of a, just a bit of a wiggle, just to get that bend in there. Obviously, if we use our bone folder on these, and you're going up, you're going to catch 
on, on, you could do it really carefully if you are careful but I'm going to continue to use my fingers because I feel like I've got a little bit more control on, on what pieces I am and aren't catching so just give them a wiggle get that lovely curve in there so do it with them all so yeah so this is Giving it a curl, well, that's yeah. decided in the comments, is what we should be calling giving it. Giving it a curl, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So giving, yeah, it is, I don't know why the simplest words just hmm. escape me all the time. I think because I'm always lost in my own head when I'm crafting. It's crafting and speaking is maybe a little bit of a step too far for me. I don't think so. <laughs> Well, the thing is, you'll all be so used to all my little Michelle-isms. So Your isms, exactly yeah. We'll speak fluent talking. Michelle in no time <laughs> at all. It'll be absolutely fine. It's like the first time my kids heard me um, scream that there was a shell beast there. And they were like, what's a shell beast? And I'm like, one of those little... What is a snail? A snail. A snail. It's a shell beast. A shell beast, yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared of snails as well. Right, are you? They're, they're I don't slimy. like them. It's if you go out to put the bins out at night and you end up standing on one bare foot, that's, that's when, oof, no. No. And those that's happened to me, yeah. Mm. I think it might have been a slug, a, a shellless beast, but um, yeah. <laughs> Shell beast, absolutely. Just the slugs where we live, I mean, I live in Norfolk. And they're, they're massive. And they're huge. Like small dogs, aren't they? And they're orange. Orange? Like orange. I've never seen an orange slug until I moved into Norfolk, but they're huge and orange. Wowzers. And yuck. So, so now we have our 12. I actually think this is the gold from that pad you've got mm. over there, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. And so we've got 12 of each panel. So literally what we're going to do now is we're just going to glue them together. So I'm just going to bend my... Um, tabs just back up a little bit so you can use um dotty tape pen for this and just get one or you can use your your glue in your little uh pin top bottle it's entirely up to you personal preference so we'll go with with this and just be careful when you're running your uh, tape pen over, just be mindful of those little bits that you don't want to catch and bend up, like I just did there. That that was just so uh, just showing you. You were just what showing us, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, let's take this and line it up with the top. And stick it down. Fantastic. And just give your tabs a squeeze. And I guess that's going to strengthen the whole thing because I did think I did think uh, initially that the, the decorative panel didn't have the tab on it, but it does. But I guess that just makes it all stronger. It does, yeah, definitely. It just all helps. Uh, Michelle has always got excellent tips, says Joan. Very kind of you to say so, Joan. Uh, what paper is Michelle using? Yeah, I believe it is the gold, isn't it, from the pad that I just shared yes. with you from the. Yeah. Uh, glittering gold, it is called. It is. Yeah, because on my original pumpkin, I used just some of our gold glitter card. But when I got given that pad, I absolutely had to use that straight away. <laughs> you know what it's like when you get it, you're like, oh, I need to use that now. But I do, I do love our, some glitter card out there. Um, it's just not encapsulated like ours mm. and as fun as that is yeah it's a bit annoying for the recipient sometimes yes it? yeah it can be so again just lining our top bit off layering this over uh, in Italy, Italy and Spain apparently the slugs are orange as well says Petra oh mm. I think we, we've got a, a glass part on our front door, and especially when the weather's like this, you can see them. 
Oh, really? Like um, going up the glass dart and wow. um, yeah, sort of sliming their way up. But our dog can see him as well. So he's right. like attacking the front door as if he can really get, it's like, he's not the cleverest of dogs. <laughs> what sort of dog do you have? Um, he is a cross between a, um, a Labrador and a Husky. And he's got something, he's got something else in with him. So he's got these, he's black everywhere. He's got these blue eyes that are almost white, but he's getting brown fur around his eyes. Aww. So he's getting his little Husky mask. No, that's um, He's, he's special, bless him. <laughs> in the nicest sense of the world, word, is, is a proper daft dog. Right. You know, the one that runs at the glass door thinking it's open yeah. and, you know, just runs into it. But he's lovely. But um, he can't, when I, when I ring my husband, the dog can hear me. Right, but, but he if, doesn't know where it's coming from. No, but if you put the phone in front of him, he can't, he, he doesn't get that that's where you are. Right. So he doesn't look at it, he just looks at Ben as though, so why are you shoving that in my face? Yeah. Where's mum or where's <laughs> Michelle? <laughs> so yeah, he's, but it, it, it makes for so much more fun when they're not, when they're not clever and they can do all the tricks. When they're, um, you know, running about and their tongues just hanging out the side of their face yeah. and they look daft. That's me, trying to look surprised. <laughs> yes. uh, <laughs> uh, Wanda says, I love the de dotty tape pen. Would the Xyron also work for running these through? Oh, absolutely. That would be perfect for running these mm. through. So even down to your, your small one, I would imagine they would go perfect through there. Or you could use, again, um, our double-sided adhesive sheets mm. and run it through there. So then he's a Huskador or a Labra Husk? Yes, he's got, so he's, he's, he's Husky and Labrador. And he has got something else in him, I, I can't quite right. remember. So I, when we were little, we just used to call him a, a Heinz variety. A Heinz variety, was, yes, Yeah, because it's Heinz 57, isn't yes. it? So he's got... A bit of everything in there. It's, and it's funny because he's got some really intelligent dogs in. What's, what are the dogs that you use to train with the police? The police dogs they use a, a specific breed Alsatian? is it an alsatian is it oh it's german yeah, shepherd yeah. i think he's got a bit of that in him so he's got like right. three really intelligent dogs in him yeah and he got none of their genes oh bless him <laughs> i feel bad for him but he's he's fabulous i've got to tell you the kids absolutely adore him i did i showed george a picture of uh, him yesterday Aww. and he's beautiful <laughs> yeah, he's a beautiful dog. And if he was as intelligent as some of those other dogs, then we wouldn't have some oh, of the... Fun. Yeah, that's oh, it, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. My mother-in-law's got a dog, um, and hers is a, a Labrador. Labrador, yeah. And he's so clever. When he wants to go out to the toilet, he just opens the back door himself. Wow. He just gets up there and can open it. And lets himself out. And lets himself out. Wow. And then if you yeah. shut the door after him, he just lets himself in. He literally just needs to be taught to wipe his feet and they're sorted. That's it. it's done. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> but when, yeah. we go, <laughs> when we go to visit, my dog just looks at the door and then looks at you and right. looks at the door and looks at, and he's like, are you, what are you going to open it for me? <laughs> And I'm like, just open it yourself. And he's like, no, not going to happen. Not happening today. No. Now, I know you think this is not going to take the whole time you were saying, Michelle, didn't you? So, <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Oh, that wasn't but me being funny. It <laughs> wasn't me being funny. You're trying to uh, say, Joe? No, I know. You said you were going to have got another one as well afterwards. Right? I was. Hopefully, yeah. two done in the show, which would be rather fabulous. So if I can stop talking long enough to get on with <laughs> this. It's because we got talking about animals, you see. Dogs. Yeah. Yes, got to move dogs. So we're just lining them up, sticking them all down. Same again. If you can hear a lot, of, if you can hear someone next door, that is Sarah. She's very loud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she is doing a car for Sarah in our, our other studio uh, at the moment. So that is what you can hear. If you can hear her, I'm not sure you can at home. Um, yeah. Uh, any questions you've got as we go through this, don't forget, 
I get them into my Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion, TikTok and YouTube. Remember what's happening for the, la for the rest of the day as well, don't forget. Another show coming up after this one, Second Chance Sunday, uh, that is coming your way at 7pm uh, here in the UK, which is 2pm East Coast time, 11am if you are over on the West Coast. Uh, so make sure you join myself and Michelle for that. Both of our last show, well, it's our last show, it is the last show of the week. So it, well, of course it has to be our last show. <laughs> but last show for us for a few days, isn't it, Michelle? It is. We've got a few days off. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back with you on Friday. I think uh, we'll see Michelle at some point next week. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm doing um, on Wake Up Call on Thursday, I think. Ah, I do. So I have a few demos for you on that. And then... I think that's, th that's all I've got next week. There you are. I think you've had Michelle overload this week, though, to be fair. Like the buses, aren't they, Michelle? Yeah. We even have none for a day, didn't they? All came all at the same time. That's it. five. Yeah. Yeah, wake up call Thursday. So I think this is our last one I'm just doing now. I might have just glued that down. There we go. And so yeah, last one on, give it a good press down. And then that's our 12 done. So our 12 little pumpkin panels. I'm not going to sit up for you because I've obviously given them that lovely curve. But, but yeah, brilliant. 12 all done and dusted eventually there we go so um we will move on to this piece so i'll just move our panels up there i'm going to take this piece so this is what gives us our base and the top of our pumpkin so we're going to get a bit of green textured card for this and what we're going to do is so for the top we're just going to cut this piece out. So, again, I'm going to stick them down so I don't move. Nothing's staying on my plate for me today. You've got slippery plates? I've got slippery plates. <laughs> uh, Suzanne says, uh, not overload, Michelle. Your demos are spiffing, as we used to say. Um, Michelle, you've been great as well since Evelyn. Hannah can definitely hear Sarah as well. <laughs> there you are. I thought you might be able to. Uh, Evelyn saying the same. Uh, too. Uh, yes, no, it has been great. It's been wonderful again, hasn't it? Yeah. Show to go. Oh, yeah. we're not done yet. Oh, no, no, that's it. We've got one more show. So we've cut out. So that's going to be our base. Uh, it's not, it's going to be our lid. And then for the base, we're going to take that piece and our centerpiece and again if you don't feel comfortable putting them through together put them through separately because I'm using a bit of tape it's going to keep our two separate dies from overlapping so let's run this through uh, Kelly asks what days will I be here over the birthday celebration so I'll be here uh, next week, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday next weekend. I'm wrapping it up on uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, as well. So uh, if you download the booklet, make sure you've got that booklet downloaded. I've lost my booklet. I'm going to get it, Michelle. Stay there. <laughs> so this is what we've got. So this is for our base, our top, and then that's a little oh, stalk. It is a stalk, isn't it? There. And that's got a lovely fold lining. I'll just give that fold over. So what we're going to do is we're going to start fixing these. Um, I don't think it really matters if you start attaching them to the, the base or the lid, but um, I normally go with the base, so I'm going to go that way. And before I glue each one on, I'm going to make sure that they're all the same way up. Um, so I'm not going to use the dotty one for this. I'm going to use our um, normal tape pen. So just glue that on there. So what are we looking for? We line up the shirt. Um, so 
this obviously 12 sides and you want your scar line to line up with this line here okay so if you feel more comfortable doing it that way and because you can see exactly right where it's going then if you do it do it that way so and then you can also make sure your panels are all the right way up so we'll give that an, a glow and then we'll I'll do it this way for you so we'll go to the next one and we're just lining it up and giving it a good press down. Oh, Kelly says she's got the booklet ready, all the items marked, ready to watch and order, that is what she says. Um, Rose says, loving this craft along. Uh, Rose also goes on to say, the CC birthday celebration is going to be amazingly awesome. It really is. Our sweet 16th celebrations all kicking off tomorrow here. Uh, make sure you join uh, ben and Debbie for wake up call in the morning uh, and they'll be kicking it all off in style which will be fantastic very excited 16 years it's um it's quite crazy to think because I must admit I remember seeing Sarah on TV with the first um the envelope is it an envelope box the the, mm. the inv but it was in wood the first one yes, she brought I remember that um, so it's crazy because it doesn't really seem two minutes ago since she was bringing that to us um, and then obviously where we are now it's um, it's been an incredible journey just just watching from where she's you know as a, as a viewer which I obviously was far up until earlier this year <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah just watching the progress and the when the Gemini came out, I was watching that on TV and I was like, oh my God, mm. I no longer have to hand crank. Because I suffer with, uh, well I did, the carpal tunnel. Right. So to have to kick to grip, it was just, and then this came out on telly and, and I was like, oh my God. And it was near my birthday as well, so, so obviously that was it. I showed my TV. husband and that was my birthday present and it's the best thing ever. It really is. But then, you know, then my stamping platform came out and, you know, everything, <laughs> all her products, everything, all. Yeah, you really do. It's two hobbies crafting, isn't it? Making with the crafts you buy and buying. Absolutely it is. It is. Two, they are indeed two separate hobbies, as you pointed out. But two absolutely necessary, wonderful oh, hobbies. Hand in hand. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> they do so nearly there just get our last two on and and then we'll stick this last one on just in there and you can see they're all lined up it looks a bit like a weird spider now so should we have a, a quick break, a quick catch up there, Joe? Yeah, let's uh, have a quick catch up there. Let me recap <laughs> yeah, everything that's does. in uh, these uh, particular collection. Any questions you've got, uh, get them into me. So let me just run you through what you've got in this particular collection then. So four different dimensional baubles in here. They all are they are all available individually, should you wish to get them individually as well, which is fantastic. So we have this one just here. That is your grande bauble that you can see. The other one that's coming in here in the baubles is your uh, winter opulence, which is that one just there, which is fantastic. Uh, then you've got your elegant star, which is this one here which is uh, really beautiful. So much gorgeous, intricate detail in there. The, uh, the star, individually, is uh, far and away the busiest at the moment. Well, we have the least stock of that, I should say. Uh, and then what you've got is this pumpkin. I just think this pumpkin is uh, incredible. There's so many different ways uh, in which you can put this together. Let me just give this one a bit of a... Uh, twist again that one's been just in the thingy there but look at how awesome uh, those are they really are fantastic uh, so do snap those up what you'll also get is the christmas green card stock within there as well so do grab that uh, 46 dollars 54 uh, a great saving for everyone uh, and of course you can use your Club Inspired discount on there as you can with absolutely everything to bring in however do you know what you're running out of time on this week's get it got it good <laughs> 
Uh, this week's is a selection of our fantastic multimedia dies in here. Three different shapes for you to play uh, around with. Of course they can cut multiple layers of paper and fabric together, uh, of paper and cardstock together I should say, fabric, uh, things like your foam, chipboard, balsa wood, mount board, all possible to use on here. Love that they are uh, have multiple sizes in them as well. Really fantastic and on a, an excellent deal. You'll find that over on the website so do go and snap that up over there. I want to just give you a heads up on some other stuff that's proving really busy over on the website at the moment as well. Uh, so we're we're going to kick off the Dreamies Autumn Hues. Uh, you saw this uh, last week, I believe it was, with myself and Jan. You absolutely loved it. Uh, you can go for the $8.99, $13.49. We do also have it as well in the Floral Harvest. I like that you get lots of repeats in these. You get lots of num you get lots of sheets uh, of the same design, which is great. And they're double-sided, which is also fantastic. Uh, you've then got the next one, which is the Positively Plum, which is this one just here. Uh, as you can see, $8.99 or $13.49. The Dreamies Delights uh, is the next ones just here. You can see a pack of two of these, $4.99 or $7.99. We do have the metallic markers on the show as well. Uh, very low stock in the antique minerals. We also have them available in the rare minerals for you, which is that set there. And also precious metals, uh, $11.99 or $16.95. Right, we're going to take a moment, give you a chance to get caught up. While you do that, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. All the details there uh, of Club Inspire, which is fantastic. Uh, right, uh, loads of you chatting away with me. Uh, everyone seems to be caught up and ready to go, though, Michelle. So if you're ready for the next bit, I think everyone else is. Fab, brilliant. So this is I've turned it over, and you can see where I've put everything. So what I'm what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to. It's like a Terry's chocolate orange, isn't it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> when you manage, yeah. When you finally get into it, it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two dies again and I'm going to cut another piece another one of those out now you don't have to do this it's just something I do to just make the, the bottom um, a little bit stronger especially if we're going to be lifting it on and off of a tea light it just means that one of them uh, they're all going to be nice and stuck and secure 
Uh, Stephen says, uh, received my hard copy of the book yesterday. I'm ready to cover all of the first items I'm after. Uh, Mary Pat is caught up in inventorying all my supplies from recent orders, so I'm all ready for the 616 celebrations. Let's party that day. <laughs> it will be a party tomorrow. You wait. So, I've just cut it out, and I'm just, we'll, we'll just get a tape pen, and we'll glue that in place. Like I say, you don't have to do this. I just think it gives the bear... Oh, I've run out of tape. Bear with me. Don't tell Tracy that I'm going through tape pens so quickly. How many did you use yesterday? Oh, I think two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You so. do a serious amount of crafting, clearly, that's why. I really do. I, the thing is, I know I do it as, as my work now, but it doesn't feel like work. It, I'm just having fun still. And then I still go home in my downtime and want to craft. More crafting. Yeah. Why not? Well, why not? Definitely, why not? So there's two ways you can do this. It depends. I'm just going round each one and giving them a just a fold back over. So there's two ways that you can do it. You could cut two of these out and so glue it all on the top and then put another one over or you can glue them underneath um, it's entirely per personal preference and again obviously if you've got two of these on top it just gives it that bit of extra um, rigidity yes yeah so I think we'll do that I think we'll glue them on top and go shall we shall we you know sometimes when you look and you so in, so indecisive, yeah. So I'm going to glue on the insides. So where I've just folded them all over, <laughs> we'll unfold them again, and then we'll just go round with our tape pen and put some tape on each end. See now, all I can think about is a Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, delicious! Not Terry's, it's mine. <laughs> You know, um, go on, sorry. I'm sorry, Mo says, uh, you are so right, Michelle. The buying is a hobby in itself. It really is. When you've got so many fabulous, wonderful, and the paper pads, beautiful yeah. things to, to buy, it definitely is a different hobby. So, yeah, so you know the Terry's chocolate orange, you tap to unwrap. Yeah. My eldest son, when he was a lot younger, he says, can I tap it to unwrap it? So um, I was like, yeah, of course. So he got it like a baseball and he went, smash. <laughs> and I was like, that's not a tap. When he opened it up, it was literally obliterated. Yeah. Yeah. Idea. Not heavy handed at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one. And because I can see it this way, I can be a bit more precise on what I'm doing. So just pulling each one up. So it literally is just a case of following the same steps on it the top is. as you did on the bottom. It is. And I think the good thing about it is because there's, you know, there's 12 steps of everything. By the time you've done one, because you've done 12 steps of everything, you're pretty much uh, an expert at doing it then. Because mm. you've done it like 12 times. So... So yes, yeah, so it comes together uh, pretty quick once you've cut everything Lou, out. Lou's asking, could you, not, could you glue it? I'm guessing she means wet glue it. Absolutely. Point. Yeah, of course you can. Um, yeah, use your wet glue. Any of your wet glues would be absolutely fine. So for that last one, um, just to enable it to... I'm just going to squish it down. And I'm just going to press it with my um, tweezers. Just because I don't want to get my fingers in there and bend the card. So that last one like that. So what we will do again is I'm going to cut another one out and we'll put that on top. So we don't need that piece. So let's put it on top and cover all that up. Let's just give that another squeeze down. There we go. So yeah, so we'll just run this through quickly. 
on the paper. Um, Victoria says I'm a bit behind on the craft lawn, but I've done the pumpkin and the star uh, when I first got them, and I've sent a picture in with them already. Oh, fab! Before, so we'll have a little look at those so for the show, hopefully, uh, Victoria. So, I'll just take that out. Oh, we haven't got Victoria's email, it seems. Victoria, please resend it to studio at craftscompanion.co.uk if we need to send it to. So, yeah, so um, I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue on this just because I want to stick it well. So, just running my glue all the way around and make sure I line it up properly. There we go. I'm just going to give it a, just hold it for a second in place. Just going to use my tweezers. They are tweezers, aren't they? They are tweezers. <laughs> Just going to use my tweezers and I'm just going to go in between each one and just give it a bit of a a squeeze because I don't want to press too hard with my hands and um, you don't want a squash pumpkin. I don't want a squash pumpkin, no. You want a pumpkin, not a butternut squash. No, definitely not. And then I'm just going to reach through with my um, scarring tool and give it a burnish from behind as well. And then, there we go. So then on the top, I've just found my little piece. Do I want to put that on and raise it a little bit? I think I do. I think I want to see what that looks like. So this is the, the middle piece. Right. I've got a couple that I cut from the bottom. Okay. And I just want to... Now you don't have to use this, you know, but it's there and I think it'll add a little bit of extra... Dimension. Um, Lou says, can you put the adhesive on the circle instead of the individual strips if you wanted to? Yeah, yeah. Right. You can go in, in whichever way works better for you, definitely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got my little stalk and I'm going to glue this onto here first before I put it on there. Because again, I don't want to be pressing down and um, getting squashed pumpkin. I uh, love the tweezers tip. Um, Beth says, I struggled to get the last couple to stick, so this is really going to help. Yeah, yeah. So just give it a little squash and then it just brings up those gaps enough that you can get your tweezers in. Because I have sharp fingers, um, I tend to use my tweezers for lots of things. So for little things like that that you don't necessarily think to do, um, yeah, perfect. It's just an extension of your my little sharp fingers <laughs> so that's stuck on nice just give it a fold back so let's let's bob that in the middle there we go oh I like that I like Excuse that me. raised bit yeah so then so that's our pumpkin so all we're going to do now is we've got some let me just put my pin back in there before I lose it. Um, so we've got some from the Cos the Night Before Christmas um, collection. Just the embellishments. So some of the little pine cones, uh, the frosted berries. I absolutely love these. I was so happy when I saw that we'd got these in, in one of the collections. I love putting these on. Um, yeah, they're just fun, aren't they? Yeah, a, a bit different as well. Uh, so I'm looking for my 3D glue, and it's right next to me. <laughs> so you can use your 3D um, uh, glue for this, or you can use your hot glue gun. It's entirely up to you. What's the benefit? What do you prefer about the 3D glue over the hot glue gun? Um, it gives you more time. It, it, you know, if you've put something on and you want to move it about a little bit or you're not quite happy with where you've put it, um, the 3D glue is perfect for that because then you've got that time 
to move it about if you want. With the hot glue gun, sort of once you've got it on there, um, it's pretty much there because for the most part, if you move it back off, you're still going to get a bit of glue that's still stuck onto your project. So if you're not sure where you want everything, so use this because then you have, can have a little play um, and get everything exactly where you want them to be. So I'm going to, just going to twist that round there. Give those so what you twist. did, you're taking those, twisting those around a pokey tool there. The yeah, yeah. I mean, I might the cut them off yet. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> um, if I leave them on, it's nice. It just looks a little bit prettier than right. if it's just stuck out. So all I've got is my pokey tool, and I've just twisted them round. Try that again. So yeah, so just twisting them round, just in case I keep them on. It just looks a bit a bit nicer so let's have a look so now it's just about playing and wet putting them where you want to put them let me just curl that end a bit more so yeah so this is this is the fun bit the embellishment and the decoration towards the end let's and what's your thought process okay. here when you're doing this, Michelle? You see you put the two bigger ones on first. Is that how you'd always work? Largest elements first and then backfill it in? Yeah, I do. Um, I mean, sometimes what I will do is I will just balance it all on there, see if, if that's how I like it. And if not, I'll just keep having a play about until I'm quite happy. And then, then I will um, stick them down. So... Let's see if we can get that one in there like that. So yes, I, I've, I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> Perfect. Just tuck that under there and have that stood up and put that one behind. I, I am, look. You, is, is it a certain age that you reach when you start talking to no, yourself? No, crafting thing, I oh, think. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so have that like that, and oh there, like that. Nice. See, I'm aware I'm doing it, and the more I'm aware of it, the more I'm doing it. But that's okay. You're all listening to me, so I'm not technically talking to myself. And then this last one. So yes, yeah, so this is this is the fun bit. Just. Put as many on as you want, wherever you want. So uh, they re the embellishments really step this up, says uh, Tracy. I agree. Or uh, Mo has ordered these ornaments, waiting for them to arrive and give them a try. Janine really loving uh, the idea of popping the embellishments on there as well. But uh, what we take yeah. is that these are going to be. Uh, you there. can go for this now, just about any time you like. That is looking beautiful. Yeah, and so yeah, so I thought where I've used the um, the. The bit from the middle at the bottom just used it raised it with some foam pads just for something a little bit different but um yeah mm. so once you've got your tea light um I, I don't have one with me unfortunately but once you've got your tea light in there and the lights coming through your the little um slits in nice. between them all yeah it's it, gorgeous. It, it gives the most beautiful effect in your room yeah and we were saying yesterday how it's really lovely to see something come together uh, in real time but with this I mean with the um, with the sort of 3d dies that we bring you know those construction dies n uh, none more so I would say I'm uh, gonna move on I want to share with you a couple of bits uh, I want to share with you the uh, man uh, metallic markers uh, that are available for you on the show uh, so you've got a few different options here this is how they come to you they're double-ended so you've got a brush nib and a bullet nib on these and I'll take you through the different ones that you've got here so you have the uh, antique elements which is these ones here so you've got ancient bronze aged copper rose gold tarnished silver and vintage satin then you've got your rare minerals and in there you've got amethyst blue topaz jade green citrine red garnet and the pink quartz uh, there and then precious metals gold plate gold nugget burnished copper antique bronze pewter and also the silver ingot as well uh, if you want to go for those uh, right glitter markers next now these are amazing you guys have absolutely 
uh, love these. So these are like a, um, they're not, they're kind of nothing like our sparkle pens, but they are, that, let me try and get this right. They're nothing like the sparkle pens. They do give you a glittery sort of ink that lays down, but in a completely different way. I, I mean, I can't explain it. The sparkle pens are like a paintbrush. Uh, these are kind of more like an ink, like a gel ink, I guess I would, uh, would be the way I would describe them. But they are absolutely packed full of that amazing glitter. So in here, this is your neon lights, and that gives you neon violet, yellow, pink, blue, orange, and green. This one here is your cool elements. So that one, if you want to go for that, is the cool blue, carbon, moonlit silver, jade aqua, frozen lake, and the midnight frost. And then you've got this one here, which is your vibrant florals. Look how shiny that is. And in there, you've got ultraviolet, electric pink, golden glow, supernova, yellow cosmos, and fiery red in there as well. So they are your uh, glitter, uh, glitter markers that you've got there. Right, let me share with you some of the Twas the Night Before Christmas elements that we've got on the show as well. Uh, we've got the 6x6 six six paper pad available for you firstly. All of this, again, uh, is individuals. Uh, this is 5 99 or 9 95 there, uh, the price on that one. Uh, this is your mixed ribbon, as you can see just there. Really, really awesome. Uh, the next one I've got are the Jingle Bells. Love those. Uh, they're fantastic. Uh, really great for uh, tying together and popping on project. Talking of tying together, you might want to go for the gold twine in order to do that. Uh, that is uh, available for you as well. The next one here, this is, uh, these are fantastic. Got over 70 different embellishments in here. Larger things like pine cones uh, and then your little berries in there as well. These were what we used on top of the uh, pumpkin there by the lovely Michelle. And I've got a couple of other bits. I've got some stamps in here which are your, uh, these are your happy Christmas to all. Some lovely little sentiments and a scroll in there. And then also got this gorgeous festive foliage die there for you as well. 12 99 or 14 95 Now we've talked about it, we've mentioned it, haven't we? We've talked about it a lot. It all kicks off tomorrow. Crafter's Companion is turning sweet 16 and have we got a treat in store for you. We are celebrating in style. Join us from the 11th to the 24th of October with some blooming brilliant birthday deals. It's time to treat yourself to some brand new launches and so many crafty treats and surprises. There's sure to be something to take your fancy. So head on over to the Crafters Companion website to find out more. Ah, uh, loads going to be happening. Something else that I need you to do before that all kicks off, though, is download this, and it's really simple. And lots of you have got physical copies of this. It's come out to you already. However, if you don't yet have a physical copy in any of your parcels, then you can download it right now. Should we show you how you can go and download it? It's very simple. Put yourself over to the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, uh, and then you'll see the home screen here. Scroll down where it says "Coming Soon, Sweet 16." That's where you're going to click. Uh, and then just, who's that handsome chap? Uh, scroll down, uh, and then it says, view the booklet. Uh, that's where you're going to click there, whether you want to view it for UK, US, or, e or for e EU. It's all there. Just have a little bit of a uh, uh, flick through, and you'll be able to see all those awesome things. Um, right. Uh, now, uh, loads of you uh, really loving that first part of the craft. Along. Lots of you loving uh, that gorgeous pumpkin. But I mean... Uh, Michelle, really, I mean, spoiling us, I think. Not just one craft along, but what's better than one craft along? A second bonus craft along, Michelle. Absolutely, definitely. So, for this one, we're going to use the Elegant Star Dimensionals. So, I've just picked a piece of our silver um, glitter card. Words do fail me. So, let's have a go. So, we'll... We'll cut that out first, just so we can see. I can show you what that looks like on its own. I know it looks like a star, but... Um, <laughs> so these won't go through... These won't go... I don't think these will go through the midi, will they? They won't... Definitely not through the mini. I'm not too sure about the midi for these ones. Well, it's, it's on the package, it? it does, of course it does. 5x7x5x6, uh, by by so how big is the platform on the, on the, on the junior? Oh, these will go through the junior, I couldn't oh, tell you. If they you. go through the junior, yeah. they'll go through the midi then. Fab. 
for sure. So there you go. So it's cut it out. It's give you your lovely scar lines. But so we'll cut another because we need two. And then this time I'll put that in with it. Just because we can. Oh, lots of love for the star. Carleen Sampson saying, oh, yeah, the star. Uh, yeah, the star of all of them um, is the lowest stocked, actually, out of all of them. Of course, you get the oh. best value by going for the whole collection. But if you uh, are going for just the star, that will be the first one to go. There's less than 100 of them to go around. So, uh, yeah, not that many. Uh, probably the one you're going to get, dare I say, the most used out of, uh, Michelle, the star? The star, yeah, definitely. I, I can would see think. having groups of these hung in windows, I bet it would look gorgeous at Christmas. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. In all the different glitter card colours, for sure. I'll just take that off. You see, now before with the pumpkin, I used my metal shim to cut through the glitter card. But see, I didn't use it this time, I didn't even think, and it still cut through it perfectly. So, just going to pop all my bits out because they just they don't fall out because of the glitter but they are they're all released you can see it's cut all the way through i just need to pop them out but i do enjoy doing this so i'm not complaining and is this because it's glitter that that, that you need to sit and pop these out yeah yeah i mean you know some of them have, have fallen out a little bit but it's just because it's glitter card and it's just just gripping in there but like like i say it has cut all the way yeah. through you just need to pop them out. I actually, I like doing the poking out bit. I, I like this bit, yeah. I think, did you, I don't know if you heard that, when I pulled that piece out, it almost, it was like it, it ripped out. Because right. I think it's, it's the adhesive that's on it to get the um, glitter on there and encapsulated. Um, there you go, did you hear that? How satisfying with that? <laughs> yeah, so that's all it is. There, it's cut through perfectly. It's a bit like your die cut elements that you can get when you just have to pop them out of the uh, the back in a little bit. Um, Maze Coco Patch says, Joe, every time I see the birthday video, I love your twist and snap move. You are priceless. <laughs> love heart, love heart, love heart. Thanks, Maze Coco Patch. Very kind of you to say. So. We did have a lot of fun putting those videos together. Uh, and there's more coming uh, next week as well, so keep your eyes out. There's loads, uh, loads happening. Uh, oh. We are on now on TikTok as well, or Top Tick as I put it yesterday. Uh, yes, at Crafters TV, you'll find us over there. Uh, so go and have a look. I know there's a video up over there already. Uh, lots of us will be adding more and more of them onto there as well as we go through. So uh, yes, keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah, I still need to. I need to download that. And do you create an account? Do you sign up to Top Tick? TikTok, yes. yes. TikTok. Uh, I mean, we've said it so many different ways now, I'm going to be unsure of what, what it actually is called soon because we've called it so many different things. We really are. Uh, but it's fun. It is fun. There's some really funny videos on there. Uh, and hopefully some of those will be ours soon as well. Yeah. But me and Debbie Fisher were trying to do one very quickly yesterday. Is <laughs> a dance craze, uh, which was sort of this sort of move, this bit of this, and then it was... We, we didn't get it. We only had five <laughs> minutes in order to get it done at the end of doing something else. And yeah, we failed. So uh, yeah, maybe next time. Yeah, try again. So who, who, why did you fail? Was it your dancing we really or Debbie's? We were, we were doing something else with the social media team. And they were like, oh, well, we've got you for five more minutes. Should, should we have a go at this? But I mean, by the time we practiced it, we had one run through and before we ran out of time. And uh, yeah, it wasn't the best. Yeah, no. Best. I, was, I nailed it, Debbie. <laughs> <on the other. laughs> That, that is not the truth. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold my scarf. I'm going to keep that one like that and just have the front um, cut into. So, in fact, yeah, no, in fact, no, I'm not. I'll tell you why I'm not. Because it's this top one that gives you the scar lines that you need to fold. So, just gently fold that up, like that, and then again that way, 
just feel for your scar line give it a gentle teasing into place uh, loving that star says uh, Laura Jones yeah I'm thinking as well this cut these in loads of different um, in loads of different materials could you cut these out of like uh, vellum Would they work in vellum do you think oh I think they would I think they'd work lovely in vellum um, especially the um, the snowfall or yeah. the snowflake one. Uh, acetate, I'm guessing. Would be yeah, good absolutely. These. Of course, yeah. Um, you can make it out of our thicker card stocks, our thinner card stocks. You could make them out of our paper pads. You know, use the patterned paper pads to make these. Um, have we got them out? Just one more. just folds the, the scar lines in perfect and just pop into place perfect. And those scar lines, they're already in there, aren't they? They're already in there, really yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're there. You just, we need to give them a fold because when we fold these over and glue them to each other, it will give you the um, effects that you need. So I'm going to run this one through so we can get them scar lines on there. So, find my tape. And just get that in line. And just run that through. Fantastic. Uh, in Sweden, we have lit up advent stars in the windows at Christmas, says Petra. Oh. What is the Swedish word for them, Petra? See if we can pronounce it. <laughs> I know that Petra's in. Uh, Petra going to have to remind me. Um, Mary's Cousin Patch says vellum behind the cut star with the, with the fairy lights would be very pretty. Absolutely, it would. It'd be a great way of doing it. Yeah, oh, it would, absolutely. So I'm going to have to do that again because okay. if I put that together, my um, scar lines, and it went a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to do that again. Okay. Because I want to put it together properly for you. I don't want to throw a... So what, what happened there? So, when I... I when I... Um, my tape just doesn't stick to glitter brilliantly. So, it just it moved right. slightly. So, my scar line that I'm going to fold, like on that one, oh, to give me my... It's not lined up. So, I'm going to struggle to do it. So, we'll do that again. Because we want to do it properly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tape my two dies together and then they won't move rather than trying to tape to the um, glitter card. So make sure I've got plenty on there. And then we'll run it through. So yes, yeah, so I think it's nice to see that we all make mistakes and everyone's dies slip sometimes and um, as much as I like to think I might be a little bit perfect, you know, maybe I'm not as perfect as I like to think. <laughs> There's no such thing as perfect apparently, Michelle. No, absolutely not. No, we all like things that, no, oh, perfect's a bit overrated anyway, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely it is. So, so because I stuck my two dies together um, with the tape, rather than trying to stick it to the glitter card, that's come out lovely. So, I'm just going to pop all those out. Um, sorry, this is... Um, not the quickest job, but it is quite fun. Don't forget, if you did craft along with Michelle with that pumpkin as well, make sure you send us pictures in uh, of your finished creation as well. We'd love to see them, wouldn't we, Michelle? Uh, studio yeah. at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, is where you need to send those into. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to get those into. So, I'm just peeling all these out still. Uh, is there anything in particular looking forward to in our like second chance Sunday show, Michelle? Um, 
Oh, so am I allowed to say what I've got in a second yeah, chance? Yeah, absolutely. So we have got, right, am I saying this right? The, is it the Bell Manor? Bell Countryside? Bell Countryside, which I haven't seen yet. I always say, I don't know why I call it Bell Manor. Um, but yeah, so it's the Bell Countryside. We've got some slimline cut and emboss. Nice. Um, demos. I know how busy they were when they were launched. Those yeah. slimline cut and emboss followers. Love They're them. lush. Mm. Yeah, and I might be doing, um, so the pop-out numbers, we're going to revisit those again because oh, they're nice. just so much fun. I think, I think watercolour Christmas. Oh, watercolour Christmas on the yeah. show. Oh, do we still have the advent calendar Hang on, stock? I thought that sold out weeks ago. I did. Calendar. How many have we got, Georgina? Right, we're checking. Let's if check. you missed out on it, though, it would appear that it's in stock right now. So get yourself over there. And it's what? This year's advent calendar. Is it really? It's what? Half price? Wow. Are you me? <laughs> so how much is it? £40 or $45. Wow. Well, you better get... Yes. Tune in for a second. Get yeah. on. I wouldn't believe it until then. I'd get no. on the website and get it all in there if you didn't yeah. get it. I know loads of people missed it. I remember it selling out uh, in yes. our Second Chance Anderson yeah. a few weeks back. So... Uh, if you've missed it, now is absolutely your chance to snap that up. So, uh, yes, make sure you get over there and grab that. There's going to be so many great products and wonderful demonstrations in Second Chance Sunday. I love it because we get to see all the best bits of the week or the, yes. you know, the couple of weeks before, which is fantastic. Yeah, definitely. So, I am still plodding away with my pokey tool. Does anyone else love this bit as much as I do, or is it just me? Some people rope in partners, don't they, for this bit? Yes, uh, they it's do. It's quite common to, uh, you know, husbands, uh, yeah. uh, boyfriends, fiancés to be roped in for this. Uh, Mary Pat says her Bell Countryside was delivered yesterday and it's absolutely gorgeous. Fabulous. Um, uh, also, Adriana says, I've made plenty of mistakes. There you are. Mo asks why you wouldn't put them together from the start. Is there a greater risk the die will slip if you do the two dies together? Um... The, the way that I get around that is that is why I tape them together. Right. I use tape because even though I haven't been able to tape it to my glitter card, because it just, you low tack tape, it just doesn't stick. Um, so I tape them together and it does avoid just that self and same that thing. It yeah, does, cool. yeah. So let's get rid of that. So I think I've, I think I've popped all my bits out. Weeding, apparently, uh, Weeding. is what uh, Alexia has referred to it. A weedy, a could yeah. be therapeutic for me, yeah. I love doing it, especially on glitter card, because it has, with, like I said, the adhesive to keep the glitter on. Um, you can sort of peel your big pieces out, and it's just, I don't know, there's just something about it. So there we go, look. Um, our scar lines are exactly where they should be. Let's give them all a good pop into place. You see, I find things like this quite fun to do. All the, the little folding and scarring lines and popping all your little bits out. Um, I like to enjoy every little bit of the crafting that I'm doing. I know it's nice to get to the end bit where you put it together and have that bit of fun, but I do enjoy the process as well. So let's find that one. I think it's just all part of the mindfulness. You just sat concentrating uh, on what you're doing. Uh, social media superstar Rachel says uh, she often gets. Is it, is it, it is Rachel, yes. Often gets their daughter to do it for them. <laughs> Great shout. Um, Patty says I bought one advent calendar right before it sold out. I have it in my car. I had to get one for my mum. She lives alone, so it'd be fun to her for her to open it up every day. If you've seen the advent calendar, well, oh my gosh, I know what's inside it. What a whopper it is. I know in previous years. Forget what you knew in previous years about the advent calendar. I mean, you've got full-size paper pads in there at some point as well. I mean, it is. It, it's the best advent calendar we've done for a very, very, very long time. It, uh, you will see it, though, in that Second Chart Sunday show. It is an amazing one. If it makes one. it to there. Yeah, I am going to say, yeah, if it makes it. So, so there we go. I'm just, so that's our two 
and really so you sort of have your big pieces will be folded up and then so your inside so your smaller ones mm -hmm. we just need to fold down a little bit so I'm going to turn over and if you feel like you've used your glitter card and your lines aren't as scored on the underside you can always just go over it a little bit with your um, scoreboard or your um, scoring tool and just your spongy mat your stamping mat just use one of those so as you can see I'm just going over all my score lines just making sure they're all either the mountain fold or the valley fold and the way that I'm figuring it out is I'm just pushing it in and you can see which ones need to go down and which ones need to come up so it's your long ones that are the mountain fold and then valley mountain valley and all the way around give them a good it looks really burnish. cool with the silver glitter doesn't it it really does and it, it's, it's worth taking the time to fold them all properly give them all a good burnishing so it's a mountain valley mountain valley so that one down and that one down they just they fold in lovely mm. I thought it might be you think it might be a little bit tricky with all your little um, cut out bits but it's not they're just popping over lovely so bring that back up give it a make sure all nice and burnished like I say it's always worth taking the time to give them a good burnishing I'm using my fingers because I don't want to go over with this because I can be a bit heavy handed. I mean, you go for it, but um, I don't want to go over it with that and just rip a little a li little bit up because then I'd be quite annoyed with myself. So there, so you've got your two pieces that have already, without putting them together, uh, looking lovely. I mean, if you did this in a double-sided... Um, uh, card stock that we've got you could just hang the one piece yeah. you wouldn't necessarily need to That's a great idea. yeah put them together well I tell you what would look, look really nice as well if you made lots of these and strung them together with some strings some like fairy lights some string oh, lights yes. and put one sort of in each like a star almost. like bunting almost yeah that would look lovely that would look, especially with mirror card, or the glitter card, because the, the way that it would reflect with the, the lights inside, mm. that would be nice. So what I've done is just my um, tabs on the side, I'm just folding those. Uh, the 2021 Snowflake Advent Calendar is huge next to my 2020 Advent Calendar, which I also love, says Mary Pat. I mean, it is, I mean, it's off the scale compared to last year's. Alexia says, is there a term for what uh, Michelle is doing here in paper crafting? It's called weeding in vinyl crafting. I, th I think it's pretty much the same, really, isn't it? I would call it poking out, is what I'd call it. <laughs> doing the poking out. Because you use your pokey tool, so it must be poking yeah. out. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> There we go. So I've I've burnished my um, my tabs and then I've flattened them back out because I'm going to go over them with some um, tape pen. So again, let me just get my piece of card. What have I done with it? There it is. Um, so again, you could use your wet glue. Um, I wouldn't use your Kalal. I would definitely use your um, your tacky glue or your tape pen. Um, the Kalal tends to um, it tends to take the coating off right. you know the colour you know if you get a little bit that squeezes out of the sides it takes uh, the colour off so because I mean normally you can just wipe it away but like on a coated cardstock it does ta take that colour off so it's definitely not the one I would suggest for glitters and mirrors. So I've glued all my tabs on both 
because it's glitter card I want it to stick really well so now we need to just stick them together so I'm going to fold them back over just to make it that little bit easier when I'm sticking it together and so you've got your um, your hangy bit there yep. so line those two up <clears throat> and we're just gonna just go into line them up and stick it down we're not that's this no tape on that one like why is that bit not sticking <laughs> so um I, w I was actually wrong a, a minute ago um i was thinking i was sticking my tab to my tab but you're not obviously when you turn them when you've got them the same you've got the tabs there right so i'm thinking well i'll put glue on both tabs and stick them together to give it that extra strength but actually i don't need to because that glitter tab there is going to stick to the inside right so the um the stick is going to be absolutely perfect so we'll just fold them all over so this is just a, this is the fiddliest bit just lining them up so they fit lovely so we got that one lined up and squashed down so then just follow follow them round give it a good burnish a good squeeze and pop that one in and the same give it a squash down just at the edges try not to squash your um, embossed line too much and then you just popping it in and lining your edges up hold it give it a nice a nice squeeze and then again popping it in so it lines up try to just squeeze across the edges there's a glue on that one there's not glue on that one how did i miss them did you only glue one of the stars i, th I think no i think i've just missed the odd random, <laughs> the odd random <laughs> tab, tab yeah so but never mind so again so line it up give it a nice squeeze and then as you're going round you'll find the last few are pretty much sat where you want them to be just move that over a little bit and then pop it in nice squeeze I think we're on the yeah I've got glue on both of those <laughs> so again fold it over pop it in that one don't want to go in look just pull that up a bit or you could just there a pokey tool is definitely your best friend just move that over that's definitely got glue on I think so. it's really good to see this though in its full process because yeah. you know, there is there is not a natural I want to say but there is definitely a process or a, a way is. of doing it isn't there and I think there sometimes is definitely. You're, maybe you've been doing it differently maybe you found an easier way or not an easier way but you know a way that works best for you then that's absolutely brilliant but I think yes. a lot of you out there it'd be really nice to see Michelle do this completely from start to scratch you can really see how it goes together yeah definitely I mean there can be there can be a, a little bit fiddly and some people definitely tend to shy away from th they think, oh no. Um, but then when they see someone do it, they're like, actually, mm. um, not only is it um, worth just that little bit of fiddliness, but once you've done it a couple of times, it's not. It's just absolutely so much fun. Amazing. So I'm just gonna, well, what we'll do is we will bob it, we'll bob. <laughs> We'll bab a little bit of ribbon through that top. Just gonna cut it on an Ooh. angle so I can get Patty's had a great idea. She says the stars will be really pretty in a large glass vase with pine cones and smaller ornaments around them. Yes, they I would. I love that idea. I know at Christmas I have a huge um, a arrangement of 
different size glass vases and things and have lots of uh, so I've got like a big it's like a big sweet jar type thing and I have lots of different baubles in and I run my fairy lights through them and I've got like a, a big selection of them so there's a big one and there's lots of little ones these would look perfect in them definitely especially if you run your um, fairy lights through them mm. as well That's so I brilliant. do have one finishing touch we'll put some gems on just on one side so I am going to use some tacky glue for this because of it being glitter card and I know that most of our gems come with a sticky back um, but I'm going to do this just so the stick can stay so I'm saying they've got a sticky back I was just checking then thought that one hadn't got a sticky back so no, that, that one's stuck to my... I, I'm really good at sticking things to myself. <laughs> I do need a sticky pencil. Something so simple. And I never think to get one. There we go. Just needed a second to grab. I think there's something like this really takes... I mean, just taking the time to do these extra bits, it refinishes it off, doesn't it? Yeah, it really it. does. I mean, you could really it does. play around with what you want to do with them. Yeah. I mean, on the other one, I've put some purple um, gems, but any colour that matches your um, theme that you've got for your decorations go perfectly on there. I'm still sticking everything to myself. Let's get rid of that. And one on the top, and then one more. And last one, and then we're done. And there's our little, our little star. And then there's the one that I did originally, just with the different coloured gems. Beautiful, really lovely. They're I mean, so if you fun. want to create these as well. It's very simple for you to do so. Uh, we've got the dies that will allow you to do that. Uh, we've recreated the launch offer as well, which is fantastic. So uh, four different uh, styles in here for you. So you can create uh, the Grande Bauble, which is this one just here. Love how uh, much open space you've got there with that one. Uh, then you also have the uh, Winter Opulence, which is this one. It makes this one here. This is made from this panel. And there is a second one you can do uh, from that panel there as well. The star is what you've just seen um, the lovely Michelle creating with just there. And there is that gorgeous star itself. Uh, and then the other one we have for you is that festive pumpkin, which just looks fantastic, however you choose uh, to colour that. It's up to you. Now, in that particular bundle, what you also get is you get the Christmas green Centura Pearl cardstock. If you want to go for a couple of them, any two for £26 or $30 as well. So uh, a different way of you going for them uh, there as well. Or they're available individually. What I would say is if you are going for the individuals or building your own bundle, then it's the star that is very very low uh, let's go on to I'm gonna go and share with you these uh, 12 inch cardstock pads so uh, this one just here uh, these are perfect for this as well 250 is a really good all-round weight great for construction so you've got your uh, the pearlescent paper there then you've got your uh, glitter there as well so that is your uh, glittering gold this one here is uh, the spark this is the silver so you've got the uh, pearlescent there uh, then you've also got uh, the glitter card as well uh, and then we also have uh, the regal rose gold as well which is this one uh, just here so you've got that pearlescent and then you've got uh, the glitter there as well 19.99 or 22.95 uh, if you want to go for any of those all uh, right i'm gonna give you an opportunity to check out your baskets uh, whilst you do that uh, here's all the details of uh, club inspire had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. 
We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Absolutely, join up. Uh, make sure uh, you become part of Club Inspire. Should we do card of the show? Well, not really card of the show, is it, Michelle? Because <laughs> we have made a card. Creation of the show, let's call it in Creation. this case. Creation. Yes, absolutely. So I've just I've just knocked my gem off that one. So we do have. So we have the pumpkin. Let me just move the. Up. Oh no. That's what I turn into after midnight. <laughs> you know, I'm not home on those. A pumpkin. Is that what pumpkin? Is? So we've got the pumpkin and then we've got the three-dimensional star. One or two. One for the pumpkin, two for the stars. Uh, you are able to uh, make your voices heard. So get yourself over to Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you're over on YouTube. And uh, yeah, get your votes placed and we'll see what goes. Oh, you have another card of the uh, day today, Michelle. Well, yeah. you might actually, you might not. No. Because Bernie was in this morning as well. Yeah, But we'll find out what card of the week is this week. I oh, can't see well. Michelle getting beat at this point. I'm just putting it out there. Anyway, uh, Michelle, <laughs> we have got uh, just over 10 minutes left. So what do you think you can squeeze in before the end of the show? So we'll, we'll have a look at these. So these is the Winter Opulence and the Gran, Grande Barbell. Grande. So this is what you get in your Winter Opulence. So it's the panels. You do need the Grande Barbell to work with these because this comes with this so it comes with its own um, insert ones there but then this is like an add-on to give you an extra two choices of, of the pattern that you would like um, to make in your barbell so you definitely need the big one to use this small one so that's what we'll do so we will we will put this together for you so I'm, I'm going to use some of our textured cardstock and we will use we will use two purples, two different shades of purple. I find these easier with a either a thinner card stock or one of our papers, just because of I don't fit. Do I have a big piece? Do I have a big? Pad? I have a big pad. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me. So. A lot of people are happy that new glitter card is back in stock as well. Aisha saying, yeah, your new glitter card is back in stock. Here's one. That looks a little bit like a brassiere when you put it on that angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? That's great. So I'm just going to, just looking for my guillotine. Bear with me again. Someone's saying they can see cakes in the background. Cakes? Cakes in the background. Where? Oh, these cakes over here. Oh, you wouldn't want to eat one of these. Oh. <laughs> Let me share with these with you. I mean, they look delicious. I mean, they might take them on straight in my feet. I'll show you what they are. These were uh, created by the very talented Emily that works uh, with us in our commercial team. Look, 
It is a crochet donut, a crochet gingerbread man, and a ball of yarn that looks like a cupcake. How clever are they? They are lovely. So, so quickly cut that down. So, can we do two? Let's do two for, for speed. So, I'm going to come in and I'm going to pick... No, I'll cut them out first if I'm going to cut two because I want to make sure I don't have to rerun it through for you. So, let's run that through there. Um, don't forget, join, make sure you join us later today. Uh, I'm on the show today. We've got one more show left in us. It is in us, haven't we? Oh, I don't know if you have judging by the way I said that. We've got <laughs> one more show left in us. We've got Second Chance Sunday. I love it because there's so much in the show. It's absolutely action packed. So uh, it's going to be really loads and loads of fun. Make sure you join yourself to the show for that 7 pm in here in the UK, 2 pm if you are going to be in the UK. So it did, it cut through too perfectly. I don't know why I doubted it. Of course it was going to work brilliantly. Um, so that's your barbell. And then I'm going to bring in this one because this is going to make a little bow for the top. And we will make a little bow in a different colour. So again, I'm going to tape them. I'm going to put them through together, but I'm going to tape them so they don't move. Again, if you're not too comfortable doing this just run them through separately but if you tape in them together you should be fine there we go so let's run this through Mo says oh how lovely talking about the crochet treat I think I quite like some of those from my own house oh and over here I didn't show you these ones as well over here, we've got coffee cups <laughs> with little. We've got there, and with these, we've got custard creams, jammy dodgers, mine and George's favourite, and marshmallows on them as well. How amazing that! Emily was in earlier, so she was actually uh, uh, in helping out with the uh, craft of salsa. But they are amazing. They really are. That is so clever. So right, we've got our. Uh, pieces so I can either run them through and put the pattern um, the patterned um, um, dies in the middle or you can leave them just as as is as they are so we'll leave these just like this for now you know Mo was on earlier talking about the other Mo we had Mo, who's a new crafter, and there was a, she was saying there was another oh, Mo yeah, yeah. crafter. Yes. Well, the Mo's have met. Mo Squared have just started chatting to each other in the comments. Is that the <laughs> other Mo that just commented about the Mo about Squared? The Mo I Squared love in the comments, yeah. Love it. And we've got George <laughs> Squared here in uh, the gallery today. So, so, actually, we need to run this back through because our bow does need two of those. So, I'm going to quickly run this through. So this is my process at home. I just realised that I forgot something, so I do that bit, and then realise I forgot something else, so do that bit, and I'm like, oh, but I need one of them, so then I do that bit. So my process is um, not so much a process as um, um, a, a, a lucky creation. <laughs> but I get there in the end, which is all that matters. So. So that's going to be our bow. So what we do with this is we're going to give it a curling. And I know it comes with instructions and the instructions do tell you to use brads. And right. so you use your brads because if you want to you know, be opening and closing them. Do you um, think that brad is a real, really odd name for a split pin? I do. I just wonder who saw it and went, oh no, we'll call that brad. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon Brad it was invented by Brad. Oh, could be. Maybe Brad was the name of the guy that invented it. I just think it's a really strange name for, a, could be. for something. <laughs> it, yeah, because I, I know that um, I say it a lot, and I know there's quite a few people actually don't know what I mean. I think it's quite a northern term as well, you know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So what I'm going to do with mine is, I mean, you, yeah, if you want him to open and close it, use a Brad. But if you're just wanting them hung on your tree, 
um, as a decoration maybe with some of that uh, lovely fluffy stuff that you can get it's a bit like I don't know what it's called fluffy stuff yeah like the inside of a walnut whip yes yeah that's exactly that <laughs> so. yeah so um no it's it's um oh I don't know what it's called um so I can't even hazard it a guess for you what does it look like um it looks like if you'd got a cotton wool ball and you'd fluffed it all up and put like a little bit of glittery um what's that metallic stuff that you get that makes christmas decorations for your ceiling you know that metallic -y? garland the garland stuff yeah the stuff that you made out like of that foil yes you can get really thin strips <laughs> i've no idea what you're talking about i'm sorry michelle <laughs> <laughs> you've got two heads from over here oh. i've no idea anyone in the gallery any idea no george's lost georgina <laughs> Totally lost. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna figure out what it is I'm talking right, about, okay. and then, and then I'm gonna let you know. You get back a second to chance. All right. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds like a good plan. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly just make my um um. If they're my bunny ears, what is that bit called? Sorry. You know when you make a bow. Yeah. And they're my bunny ears. I still, it's like I'm five, isn't it? So, yes, yeah, so they make that bit there, my end of my ribbon. So I'm just gluing the circles together. I'm just going to hold that for a second to keep it together for you. You know, when you're little and you get taught to tie your shoelaces and they say to get your bunny ears, mm. and apparently the patent for a Brad was awarded to George McGill in 1866, according to the internet. Thank wow. you, Rachel, our social media superstar. So Brad's were not invented by Brad. No. So no heartbroken Tracy Brad out there. Are you talking about tinsel? Yes. Yes. Is that what you meant when you tried to, all of that, those descriptions? Yes. Tinsel. But what you can get is... <laughs> Tinsel. Where did the cotton wool bit come from? Because so what you can get is like just really fine strings of tinsel, and it, it's running through. <laughs> I'm just digging a hole, even <laughs> worse, <laughs> Anna. The bit that confuses me with shows that we started with cotton wool. <laughs> like imagine cotton wool. I don't look at tinsel. And go, oh my no, god, look at that. But like <laughs> I know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just sh sh Michelle. <laughs> Stop talking now. So quickly, what I'm going to do is, so cross those over. Just stick them bottom two bits together, like you would as if <laughs> you were putting a bad through. Don't listen to the crazy lady. <laughs> and um, then, the term braddle is used by engineers, electricians, to make holes for a drill to carry on screwing screws in. Shortened, it becomes brad, which is where the name comes from. Oh. Mo, you are the font of all knowledge, really. Absolutely. It's nice to know that someone's still making sense. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, um, we're going to bring these up and stick them together. I'm just going to hold it for a second. Do I, oh, it's like beat the clock. Just hold that for a sec. So it's not going to work. So, I should really have curled these a little bit. Right, okay. You know, either with my bone folder or on the edge of the... Because I'm using wet glue. If I'd have used my tape pen, they would have grabbed a lot better. Strands of tinsel are called lametta, you might want to know. <gasps> yes. See? We're yeah. getting closer to what I'm meaning. Yeah. So, let's see if I can... So, these do need a good... A good burnish. So, so basically, just bring them all together. Glue your tabs. So you can glue them, so you don't have to use a brad. Put your little bow on top, and then that's what we've and got. And then this is what, the sort of thing uh, that yeah. you are... 
going to then end up with, which is awesome. Yeah. I guess you can use it with or without. Oh, look at that big glamorous gem mm. on the top of there. Absolutely gorgeous. Lush. Oh, what an amazing craft along. Oh, what an amazing sort of almost triple craft along we had there, Michelle. We amazing. really did. Uh, the um, project to the show was number one, the pumpkin. No surprises Fabulous. there. Fabulous. Uh, whatsoever. Should we do it all again in a couple of hours' time? What do you reckon? Not this show, obviously, but second chance. Yeah, no. Though. Yeah, let's see if I can make a bit more sense on the next show. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, right. Uh, well, uh, tinsel. Who knew that Michelle was talking about tinsel <laughs> all that time? Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets, of course. Uh, make sure you uh, grab this. And remember, you can watch this and any show back at any time you like uh, over on our website as well. So, uh, yeah. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Uh, myself and Michelle will be back with you 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast for that Second Chance Sunday show, having a look back at all of the amazing things uh, that have been on over the last couple of weeks or so. Some incredible launches in there. Another chance to get that advent calendar as well. So do not miss out on that. And that's it. That's my last show for the week. I'll be off for a few days. So if I don't join you for Second, if I don't see you for Second Chance Sunday, I'll be back here on Friday for Wake Up Call. So I hope you'll see me real soon. Take care.